it's mayhem around here every day it's like <laughs> these kids just tear this place up What's going on guys? Welcome back. We are back in the shop and we're doing some sled work. So before I even get started, uh, if you guys have been here a while, and I say this kind of often, but if you have been here a while, you guys know that I've been growing a mullet for the longest time. And last night I went out and Corey, my girlfriend, as you guys know her, she is a hairstylist and her boss, we were in a conversation one day and wanted to perm my hair. So <laughs> she actually, I don't know if you could see it or not, but she permed it yesterday. So I'm gonna put a couple of videos at the end of this video of her doing it. But anyway, back to actual work. So as you guys know, I picked up a little summer project, which is my 1997 600 XCR. You guys have all seen it before. Uh, we've done a couple things to it, you know, just cleaned it and, and stuff like that. But we are finally getting a couple parts in for it, and that is what today's video is. So, also if you've been here a while, and we're here for the CNA Pro uh, ski comparison video, which I'll post above, you guys know that I said I will not ride a sled without a pair of CNAs. And that is true for as long as I can remember. And they supported me back when I raced, you know, full time. They supported me uh, when I am just trail riding. So what I did is I reached out to them and I, you know, kind of said this, I got a project here. Um, I would obviously need a set of CNAs for it. And they were 100% on board and they were like, absolutely. Let me know what you need or let me know what you want and we'll send it right out. And they did. So without further ado, we have some toys for, and the boys are still tearing it up outside. We have some toys for the XCR 600. So I'm just a huge fan of CNA. I don't, I don't think that the factory skis give me enough feedback for me. Um, so I go with the CNAs. They're you know a more aggressive, I think a more durable ski option than your factory skis. And I, like I said, I won't ride a sled without them. And regardless of what it is, those are the first things that go on. So for this, what did we get? So I've actually never ridden, you know, a big old triple like like so. So I talked a lot with Bruce from Southside and he's like, well, he's like, you don't need something super aggressive. So I went with a set of CNA Pro uh, razors. So if you go on their website, caproskis.com, you will see that the razors are a ski. It says uh, 2000 and, or 2010 and older uh, sleds. So that is what we got for this. Now, what color, even though you just, well, I'll blank that out. So what color do we get? So I was like, mm, do I go blue? Do I go red? Do I go, you know, kind of what color? So this is what I came up with and I'm, I am super, super pumped about them because I think they match perfectly. Let me see here. Bam. We went white with purple tips and no joke, it matches so, so, so good that I can't even handle it. It's gonna look so badass once we get these on. So. That's gonna add some flair to it. So I have the skis. So they sent me a set of skis. Let's get the rest of this box empty. So we have skis and we have a mounting kit. So if you guys do not know, every time you get a set of CNAs, you have to get a mounting kit with it. So your mounting kit comes with bolts. It comes with the bushings for the skis and washers and new ski rubbers. So depending on what model that you guys have, uh, depends on what you know mounting kit you get. So like for instance, this one is mounting kit 
Polaris all trailing arm model. So if you have a trailing arm, you need this kit. Uh, there's another kit for Polaris. Like this one is, uh, I think all 2012 and newer or something, something along those lines. Anyway, you gotta go on the, uh, you gotta go on the website and, and you know, figure that out. But so mounting kit, skis, sled. So that's what we're doing today. We're going to throw these skis on it. Granted, it's 80 degrees out and beautiful. We're still again in snowmobile mode. I have to take good old Bruno off the lift and he's in kind of shambles right now. And I'm going to get to another, uh, I'll do another video of that and what's going on there. I got some things in the works. Bruno is sold. He's, he's gone. Uh, but I have him until like September or so. And I think I touched on that in another video, but, um, I'm working on some stuff for the sled for next year and it's gonna be pretty top-notch stuff and I'm super excited about it. I just have to uh, get them done and I'll get into that in another one. So I'm gonna uh, get Bruno on the ground and I'm gonna get good old Bart up on the lift and we're gonna swap some skis. All right, we got old iron up in the air and uh, it's the first time I've had it in the air. And uh, as you can see, skis are very droopy, especially that. That one over there. These uh, ski rubbers are well, well, well worn out. What's that? What are you doing with your quad? But what are you doing with this one now? I'm doing a video on it. Huh. What are you doing? Uh, we're riding the quad. Well, you don't look like you're riding the quad. That was right there. I know. The speed. So ski rubber super worn out, so worn out. So I'm glad we're doing these skis anyway. So like I was talking about earlier, you have these uh, bushing. Nice ones. Yeah, C and A's, bud. So these are your ski bushings that go in your ski. So right there, and sometimes they sometimes they push in pretty easy. Other times they don't. So if they don't, kind of got to get it started a little bit. And then uh, use this little C-channel clamp to just screw them in. Um, like I said, it's going to be really hard for me to do this with one hand. Hold on, got to get it started. All right, so we have all um, bushings in. Like I said, you just got to press them in. They go in really easy once you get them started. Uh, as for these skis, uh, back in the day, they used to have cotter pins in the in the the nut so that wow, so it didn't come off. I have to go get it off. I'm like, why won't this thing come off? Well, there was a cotter pin in the one side. There wasn't in the other, but they were frozen in there. I honestly don't think they've ever come out in what was it, 19 years or whatever. So we're gonna get these off, and then uh, we'll get the new ones on. Okay, old iron, skis are off. So I'm not gonna go super crazy cleaning everything because I think tentative game plan right now is to pull everything off and paint it. Uh, I'm not 100% set on that yet, but it is a potential. So that's why I'm not gonna go super crazy. Uh, I did never seize in there, which I'll probably regret at some point because then it's gonna get everywhere, and especially with white skis doesn't go well so i'm going to uh i'm gonna get these bad boys on there and it's really cool i love seeing old technology with new technology it's uh you know when you I, when you have those two worlds collect you know clash i think it's so cool and then ultra new technology obviously and it's so crazy to see how far they've come like 97 21 it's like, what? I give you guys props that did go out there and kill it on these things because you're a better man than I am. If you guys are wondering, the, <laughs> the new ski rubbers that come with the CNA skis are much, much, much tighter than the factory ones. So uh, you need some persuasion to get them things in there. But once you do get them in there, it is very nice. Everything's nice and tight. I didn't even tighten the, uh, the bolts down yet. But you also have to look at the spring rubbers because there's a high side and a low side. And if you look on the directions, 
and each one's gonna be different, uh, you know, make sure you go put them in the right way. So this side, or this one, the high side was in the back. So, um, we did that and uh, Nash came out to help, per usual. But a lot of times what I do, especially with new spring rubbers that are super, super tight to get in, I get this side started and then I lower the sled down onto a block standing upright on the inside of the ski and that will twist the ski you know, in the right direction so you can get it all the way through. Again, they're in there pretty tight, uh, but you know, it just tightens everything up on the front end. So I'm happy, but it's just a little tough to get in. But uh, that's gonna do it. I didn't, do, I didn't get skags yet because I don't know which ones I'm gonna throw on this. And it's easier to just drop the, the sled you know, on the tile with no skags on because then it won't leave marks, which I pulled those out too. <laughs> But, uh, but yeah, man, this thing looks so, so, so good. And as I said before, CNA skis are my number one to do on a sled. Before I do anything else, those get done. So I'm super happy to get them on, you know, the 97 project. And I mean, color wise, they match unbelievably. So happy that I went with the white and the purple. And uh, we're just, you know, chipping away at this. So I did get some carburetor parts for this. So at some point I'm gonna be taking those carbs apart, going through them. I got everything that you could possibly get, bought a kit. So we'll go through them. But another big shout out to CNA Pro. Um, <clears throat> thank you from the bottom of my heart. You guys have been great to me since day one, since you didn't even know who I was. But uh, thank you guys. And if you guys have any questions about skis or you know what model you should get or this or that, put them in the comments. I'll be happy to answer any questions that you guys could have or at least point you in the correct direction. Um, I've kind of tried a bunch of different setups and stuff and I've come to you know conclusion on a couple of them and, and what I like to do or you know what I like and what doesn't work, et cetera, et cetera. Well, for me. But I'm pumped to have these on this sled because it looks so, so good. But uh that's gonna do it for this one. I'm gonna put those videos of me getting my hair permed in a little bit, but make sure to like, make sure to subscribe, and uh, I'll see you guys in the next one. Again, big shout out to CNA Pro. Thank you guys, you guys rock. See ya. All guys, and even girls, are gonna start doing that. going in there and so there. funny. But just a light body wave, it's nothing crazy. It looks know? so good. I'm so sorry about this. Oh, I don't care. It's fine. It probably feels nice like it an ice cream. Okay. Beautiful.